Welcome to Bio Vivacious. I'm Sebastian. Bio Vivacious is a YouTube channel to make fundamental concepts of biosciences clear, vibrant, and exciting. Today, we are going to discuss about another fundamental concept in biostatistics that is measures of central tendency. So it means is the data symmetrically distributed? Can we say that the left hand of the distribution equal to the right hand of the distribution? For example, uh, we will be looking at if the distribution is this kind of a curve, then that is when we divide that into two equal parts, is the left part equal to the right part. So this is what we are going to discuss in the measures of central tendency. There are three measures of central tendency, mean, median and mode. So we begin with understanding what exactly meant by mean. So mean is denoted by the term x bar. So let us consider the marks that you have got uh, in the last examination. So the assumption is that somebody is scoring uh, 25 marks, another person 26, 31, 37, and 42. So, so there are five students, so these are the marks. What is the average marks? So in order to find the average marks, what we are going to do is, first of all, let us assign, let us say that each of these value is considered to be x1 or xi, this is another xi or x2, this is another xi, this is xn. Today it is 5, tomorrow it may be 50 or 500 values. So therefore, how do we calculate mean of this distribution? This is an example of ungrouped distribution. You would have learned about ungrouped distribution from the previous classes. So in order to find mean, what we are going to do is, we will add up xi, x1, x2, x3 with the xn, divided by the total number of observation that is denoted as n, small n. So in this case, the total number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be the formula. But for general purpose, the formula, this can be rewritten in the following manner. That is, x bar is equal to, in statistics, we use this Greek letter sigma to denote summation. Summation of values 1, that is the first one, to the nth value of all, summation of all the xi values divided by the number of observation. So this is going to be the formula which we will use for calculating mean of the ungrouped distribution. So therefore, summation of these values, we can say that this is equal to Uh, this is totally equal to 161. 161 divided by 5. So that is going to be 161 divided by 5. That is going to be uh, 32 point, let's say point 0.1. So this is going to be the mean of the distribution. It also means that the average marks students have got is 32.1. So this is how you find mean of ungrouped distribution. Now let us consider how to calculate mean of a discrete distribution. So here is an example from the previous session. So we have the number of chocolates students have collected ranging from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the number of chocolates students have collected in this experiment is, it's seen as Fi values. 
Let us find out what is the average number of chocolates a student has got. So therefore, in order to find the mean of this distribution, we are going to employ the formula that is uh, x bar is equal to 1 by capital N into summation of all the values from i is equal to 1 to n summation of all the fi and xi value. So this is the formula we will be using for finding mean of a discrete distribution. So therefore here there are few concepts. So one is to find fi xi that is fi xi is to multiply fi into xi and the summation of that. If the second one is the capital N capital N is equal to summation of all fi values summation of all fi values is equal to capital n so therefore let us find this first let us find this so 2 plus 4 6 uh, 9 10 10 plus 6 is 16 so we found this value summation of all the fi is 16 so let us find fi into xi. So therefore we write fi into xi is equal to 1, 2, sub 2. This is 8. This is 9. This is 4. This is 10. This is 24. So therefore if the summation of all this is equal to that is about uh, we say that that is about 57. That is 57. Now replace the values. So therefore, x bar is equal to now 57 divided by the 16. So that is 57 divided by 16 should be about 3 point about 0 0.05. So this is the x bar of a discrete distribution. What does it actually mean? It means that on an average, how many chocolates a student has got is about 3.05 chocolates has been got by every student. So this is how we calculate mean for a discrete distribution. Now we come to another concept that is how do we find mean of a continuous distribution. So for our convenience, I have already written a question here. So the xi value, if the class intervals are 0 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 12, 12 to 16, and 16 to 20. And the frequencies are also written there. Once again, we will be using the same formula for calculating x bar. That's the same formula of discrete distribution. So x bar is equal to 1 by capital N into summation of all the values from 1 to N fi xi so as we have already seen capital n is equal to summation of all the fi values so that let us calculate 4 plus 3 7 uh, 9 11 so that is equal to 12 so we got this value now we need to find fi xi so to calculate fi xi now there is a problem we don't have an xi value because it is a continuous distribution so now what do we do? How to find xi? So therefore, xi is the midpoint of the class interval. So what is the midpoint of this class interval? 0 to 4. If the midpoint is 2. If the midpoint here of this class interval is 6. Midpoint of this class interval is uh, 10. Midpoint of this is equal to 14. Midpoint of this is equal to 18. So we have that value also. Now, once after getting this, we will multiply fi into xi. So, therefore, fi into xi is equal to 2 into 4. This is 8. This is 18. This is 20. This is 28. And this is 18. So, now, total it. This plus, this plus, cal total the whole value. So, that should be equal to that is about 92. So now replace the values in this particular formula. So therefore, this is equal to 92 divided by capital N is equal to 12. So 92 divided by 12, it should be equal to 
zero, roughly about seven point zero seven. So therefore, this is going to be the x bar, x bar of a continuous distribution. So this is how we calculate is the mean of uh, ungrouped data, discrete distribution, and continuous distribution. I hope that you enjoyed this session, and let us meet again with another fundamental concept in biostatistics in the next session. Thank you very much for watching this channel.